French President Emmanuel Macron and EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen are set to visit China on Wednesday. The pair will hold talks with Chinese President Xi Jinping. China's foreign ministry says that discussions will be focused on deepening cooperation and international and regional hotspot issues. Now, reports say that Mr. Macron is seeking a major shift on China's support for Russia. For more on this, let's speak to Ross Cullen. Ross, uh, the French president, as well as uh, von der Leyen, they're holding these talks prior to the trip. What's the game plan? They want to be on the same page as far as China is concerned. Yeah, hi, Dawn. Well, we know that uh, these uh, talks are going to be uh, discussed uh, today, Monday, a working lunch happening right now uh, in the Elysee Palace between Ursula von der Leyen and Emmanuel uh, Macron to lay out the framework for how they want their trip uh, to go, their visit to China. It will be Emmanuel Macron's first trip uh, to China since he was re-elected in June last year, but it will be the European Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen's first official visit in her capacity as head of the European uh, Commission. Uh, just late last week, the Spanish Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez, was in China for meetings with uh, Xi Jinping. And, and that also lays the framework for what's going to happen in the second half of the year, uh, because Spain is going to be taking over the rotating presidency of the EU Council from uh, the 1st of July. Every six months, a different EU member state uh, holds the rotating presidency and they uh, hold ministerial meetings in their country and they can also advance uh, things that their uh, particular national capital is uh, focused on. But we do know that Pedro Sanchez also towed the line in terms of the EU policy, urging Xi Jinping to speak to his Ukrainian counterpart, uh, Volodymyr Zelensky. And the war in Ukraine will certainly be high on the agenda of Emmanuel Macron and Ursula von der Leyen's uh, visit. We do understand that there could well be a trilateral summit on uh, Thursday, April uh, the 6th, later on this week between uh, Xi von der Leyen and Macron. But there could be a couple of other meetings as well between the two, uh, the three leaders uh, more informally. But certainly Emmanuel Macron has said in the past he wants to urge Xi Jinping to use the Chinese leader's uh, own personal influence with the Kremlin to push Russia to halt its invasion of Ukraine. And there will be urgings from the European Union side that if China does want to play a role in achieving a political negotiation to the end of what China calls a crisis, what Russia calls a special military operation, and what Ukraine calls a war in the country, then there cannot be just visits from President Xi to President Putin. There must also be more of an outwardly outreaching of neutrality. And so they will be urging Xi Jinping uh, to at least call Volodymyr Zelensky, if not make an in-person visit to Kiev. Also on the uh, topic will be the Indo-Pacific. Uh, France going there. The French president uh, sees the Indo-Pacific as a domestic arena with one and a half million citizens spread across the Indian and Pacific oceans. So there will also be talks about that. Taiwan will come up because uh, we have seen the issue related to Lithuania in the European Union opening a Taiwanese official office in the country and the problems that's uh, had for China. But there could be some chance dawn for alignment uh, between the European Union, France and China because they all are more or less on the same page in terms of increasing renewable energy use, reducing uh, the use of plastics, protecting biodiversity and fighting climate change. A wide-ranging and ambitious agenda. Ross, Ross Cullen there reporting live from Paris, thank you.